Hello, this is Graham from Let's Learn This .com. Thank you for joining me again on this part of the tutorial. Um, we're going to be looking at random things, random numbers, uh, selecting random choices, random strings perhaps. Um, okay, so let's get started. Let's open our um, Python idle GUI and we'll go to File and New File to write our little program. I'll just arrange these so you can see what's going on. Now the first thing we're going to do is to um, import um, what's called the random class. Now I'll type the code first and then uh, I'll explain it afterwards. So what we're doing is import random. So the import means we're going to use some code from somewhere else and in this case it's going to be uh, the random class. I just imagine that as a a black box and in there is all sorts of good tools and functions that we can use within our program without having to rewrite them without having to copy and paste that code in there and, and get it all working these are ready to go. Um, now it might be a quite a confusing concept to start with and we'll go over, it, go over it in more depth but just be aware that as your applications become more and more complex things like this can make it nice and easy for you to reuse code and to reuse other people's code um, so it is important um, but we'll slowly build on it as time goes on um, and, and we'll pick it up that way so let's see it in action okay so the first thing we're going to do is print uh, random dot and int okay so what we're going we're going to do here is pretend that we want to roll a dice so what we're doing is obviously the print command we come across and we're going to print the result of this so we're going to look in the random class here that we imported and we're looking for a function in it called randint and as you might have guessed that stands for random integer so a random whole number um, and then we need to tell it the start and end points of, of where the random numbers are going to be generated so between 1 and 10 for example uh, as we open the bracket it gives us some handy hints here so it says it returns a random integer in the range a comma b but we're going to put a range in here in between the brackets including both endpoints so if we want 1 to 10 and we put in here 1 comma 10 it will include the 1 and 10 that's what that means so we've got six sided dice so we want to do 1 comma 6 um, so we're going to pick a random number between 1 and 6 so we're going to roll a dice basically so let's run it and see what happens oh, so first we need to save it um, save yours in a sensible location I'm just going to put it in here for now uh, random dash dice .py. ok so there we go the program ran and um, we rolled a 6 lucky eh um, let's run it again we rolled a five that time. Uh, so you can run this as many times as you like. Clicking F5, and rolled a four. We rolled another four. We rolled a three. So there we go. We've, we've seen it in action. Now, one thing to be aware of um, is that these random numbers are not entirely random. Um, now, I'm not going to go into any detail but they do follow um, a pattern that can be um, predicted so they're not suitable for uh, any cryptographic type work for, but you know we're not doing anything like that here we just want to select a random number um, okay so what should we do next let's uh, let's uh, have a choice make a choice shall we between some different things, uh, perhaps uh, yes and no. So let's uh, print random dot uh, choice. So again, we're going into the random class and we're selecting this function here called choice. And so it's saying uh, choose a random element from a non empty sequence. So we know it can't be empty. So let's uh, have. Um, yes and let's have no and let's have maybe as well 
Okay, so here we put them within the square brackets and we put quotes around each answer. So let's run that. Oh, we've got an error there. Okay, so what's happened here? Ah, because we only can make a choice between between what have I done here then? So open and close the quotes there, then I've got a comma and I've opened ah put the comma within the quotes you see. So that's my mistake. Oh I missed the quote out no matter which way you like to look at it. Okay, so now we can see it's all gone green, so that's happy. So let's run it again. And we still rolled our dice here, but we've also got a random choice from our um, sequence that we gave it. Yes, no, or maybe. So let's run it again, see if we get a different answer. One, and maybe. Okay, so, so far so good. Let's comment these out so it doesn't get too confusing. Okay, so what about if we... Um, put it all together let's uh, why don't we roll the dice um, and then let the computer give us some advice as, as to whether we roll again or not and we'll print it out in a nice string um, to cover what we've done in the previous lessons um, I'll tell you what we'll put it in a very put the results in a variable as well and add those to the string and then that covers a lot of what, what we've already been doing okay so let's say uh, dice uh, result equals random dot uh, we want it rand int so just like before same bit of code as before but the difference here is if we're putting the result into this variable we're not printing it out yet okay then we want some uh, computer advice and we're going to say uh, random dot choice so let's see if I can type this out without making a mistake this time yes no um, perhaps and we have another one in there this time uh, don't even So again, we've made a random choice and we've popped the result of this into our variable uh, called computer advice. So let's print it all out then. So let's say print, uh, you rolled a, um, and we've got to put in a, a space here so that it doesn't join our uh, dice result right onto the end of it. So we put dice result in there. Ah, now, do you remember from um, the previous lesson here, if we try and print this dice result as it is, which is going to be an integer, it's going to have a problem joining the string and the integer together. So what we need to tell it is to make this integer into a string. Okay. Um, and then we'll say... Uh, and we'll put a full stop after that and then we'll say um, I asked the computer if you should continue um, it said said and then we'll give the computer's answer here so we're gonna pop it on the end computer advice so we've ended our string and then we've put the uh, result which we put into our variable on the end of the string. So let's see if it works then. So um, press F5, save our source again. Ah, oh, here we go. You rolled a 4. I asked the computer if you, if you should continue. It said yes. Oh great, let's continue then. Roll again. Um, you rolled a 6. I asked the computer if you should continue. It said no. So you see, the computer's advice is not based on anything other than just a random choice, but you can see how when that's worked into programs, um, you can start to do some quite interesting stuff. Now, if you've ever got a spam email uh, full of random words, 
this is basically how they are produced. Some are a bit more sophisticated than others, but you know you've already uh, you've already touched on what what they do here to generate those emails. Okay, I think we'll leave it there for now, um, but hopefully we'll put this together with um, what we've done previously and some bits that we're going to learn in the coming lessons, and perhaps make a little game out of it. Okay, so thanks for joining me, and I hope to catch you again soon. Bye-bye.